Since January this year, petroleum prices have steadily increased globally, now two and a half times higher than they were at that time. Yet in Rwanda, prices have remained relatively unchanged thanks to a government decision to waive certain charges on such commodities in order to protect the end user. A rise in petroleum prices would mean that I would have to cut down on how many journeys I make. With favorable prices, a person is able to do more and to go about their business. Higher prices only make things more difficult for us. The government is always looking out for our interests, and we are grateful for this latest initiative. When petroleum prices go up, life becomes harder for us, and making money becomes more difficult. When they go up, we are forced to raise our fares as well, and our clients complain. We are all there for benefiting from this government decision. The same concerns have also been aired by the country's biggest public transportation associations, so they too are grateful that the government has been shielding them from the effects of rising oil prices. Had bus fares increased, it would have been a problem for us because that means fewer people would be willing to travel and our buses must keep moving. So that means that a bus that carries 29 people, for example, would have to leave the bus park with far less, which is a serious loss to us. The government foregoes that money because of the people. But we as transportation companies are gaining as well, because we would have been affected. Petroleum importers have also been sacrificing to make this possible. Last time we forfeited 5 Rwandan francs per litre and during this month we gave up more money because the prices should have been revised on the 15th of July last month. However, following discussions with the government we decided to wait to see where things go. So we decided to let the entire month pass without changing prices. That is a big sacrifice. Officials at the Rwanda Utilities and Regulatory Authority have confirmed that the government has lost billions to keep prices at the pump stable. You see that petrol prices have gone up by 10% globally and 16% for diesel. Here it's 8% for petrol and 6% for diesel. Over the next two months, the government will lose close to 8 billion Rwandan francs, which is a lot of money. Between May and September, the government will have lost close to 15 billion. Economic experts point out that there's a reason the government is willing to sacrifice so much. When prices go up, demand falls because people are not willing to consume as much. When that happens, the production of commodities also slows down and so does the economy. The government therefore takes measures to keep prices stable in order to avoid such repercussions in the long run. It is important so that consumers do not get wind that prices are climbing, causing a reaction that could result in retailers also hiking prices further. So the government steps in and none of that happens. Up to 45 million litres of petrol and diesel are sold in Rwanda every month. 65% of that diesel and importers were paying 115 Rwandan francs per litre to the government's coffers, money meant to repair the country's roads. The government has been forfeiting 84 Rwandan francs per litre on petrol and 67 Rwandan francs on diesel to be able to keep prices at the pump relatively stable.